right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Paul, and thank you for tuning into the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I'm Rich Walsh. Give me a call tonight, 412-575-2600 is the number, or you can always reach me on Twitter, at Richie Walsh. I've unblocked a lot of people, so more than likely, I've unblocked you. It's a new year, and I have a new philosophy on Twitter. Um, you can rip on me. I just won't engage you. I'm not blocking anyone anymore. I'm just going to mute you. That's my new thing. No blocking, muting, because you don't even know I muted you. That's if you're mean. I will not mute you if you're nice. Um, you know, trying to treat social media differently this year. I want everything to be positive. I don't like the negativity on social media, especially when it, becomes, when it comes to pit, pit basketball. There's so much negativity out there. I wonder why. So much negativity with the Pirates. I wonder why. Everything's so negative. Let's just be positive about things. Today, Pitt lost 60 to 55, 0 and 9 in the ACC. Haven't won a game yet. Syracuse better than Pitt again. Another ACC team better than Pitt. Um, I think they had a little better crowd there today. That's because it's a weekend and a lot of Syracuse fans were in attendance. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe you do. Give me a call, 412-575-2600. Uh, I don't know if it's a talent. Obviously, they got a lot of new players, 11 the most in NCAA. Is that an excuse? I'd like to know. I don't think it's an excuse at this point. You're nine games into conference play. You're more than halfway through the season. They should be playing better. Games should be closer. If they were any good, they would beat a team like Syracuse. So are you optimistic that this team, that this coach, that this program – can do anything better than it's doing right now. I know they got some good guys coming in, or we think they're good guys, or we think they're halfway decent recruits, but we don't know until they step on the court in collegiate play. Uh, they're good high school players, but what can they do at this level? Obviously, these guys right now can't get it done. They're 0-9. I'm not saying fire the coach. I am not in that camp at firing the coach. I think you need to give them some time, but is this the right coach? Will it take Pitt too long to figure it out? Those are big questions right now with that, the state of that program over there. You know what, what's so bad about it right now? This, this, this is just a prime example or maybe um, a telling stat, a telling thing about pit basketball that they're on Cozy TV. That's, that's where you have to go to watch pit basketball now, Cozy TV. I didn't even know what Cozy TV was until today because I had to watch the pit game on there. I come into work. I'm saying, hey, what channel's the pit game on? Thinking maybe ESPN2, it's pit Syracuse. Where would it have been three, four years ago? It had been on ESPN, or it would have been on ABC, or one of these channels, WTAE. It's on Cozy TV. You can't even get Cozy TV in high definition. Pit basketball is on Cozy TV. West Virginia basketball is on AT&T Sportsnet. Pit basketball, Cozy TV. I, I, that just goes, that, that's all I have to say right now. The Pitt basketball teams on Cozy TV. Penn Hills basketball, I think, has a better channel. I think you can watch Penn Hills basketball on a better channel than Pitt basketball right now. It's just an embarrassment. I don't understand what direction this program is going in. Hopefully, they turn things around. I want to be optimistic. I really do. I want to be optimistic. But it's hard being optimistic when you continue to lose. Now, they got some games here coming up. Maybe they win. I want to see this team kind of you know, maybe turn things around, get some confidence. I understand that this was a closer game today. They should have won that game against NC State, who beat uh, a pretty good program today. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I think I've, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm angry because I think you get angry at some point, but then it turns into apathy. And I'm not at apathy yet. I'm just at anger that the state of this basketball pro program and the fall from grace right now is just astounding. I, I can't believe it. And I think that's the way a lot of Pitt fans feel right now. As for the Pirates, I think a lot of people feel the same way. You can draw parallels to both Pitt fans and Pirates fans. But I think the one thing about Pirates fans right now is they're afraid. They're afraid because they saw what happened uh, 20 years ago, that they don't trust this, 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 this team of putting a winner back there. And, they, and, and you know, Neil Huntington and these guys, they want to say, hey, you know, we're going to be a winner again. We're trying to put a winning championship team together, 
but I think Pirates fans are afraid to believe him because they went through 20-some years of losing to get three years of winning. And I think that's the big problem right now with Pirates fans, that they're just not buying into it. They, they had a taste of a winner, and they don't want to lose out on that and, and hopefully wait another 20 years. So give me a call, 412-575-2600 is the number. Or you can always send me a tweet, Average Walsh, back in a couple minutes. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, putting new roofs on Pittsburgh homes for over 25 years. Call Ireland Contracting at 1-800-NEW-ROOF.